So, under strict instruction from the wife and the mother-in-law, Paul Keegan played it safe and goes home with £8,000, which is still a good night's work. Now, time for our nine remaining contestants to play fastest finger first. Here comes the next question. Put these stages of making a chocolate cake in the usual order. Sip the flour, put it to the oven, decorate with chocolate, allow to cool. Now, it's quite important, actually, that you do this in the right order. So let's see... Let's, this is the right order, OK? First, you sieve the flour. Then you put it in the oven. Then you... You don't put the chocolate on yet, otherwise it'd be pointless. Then you're allowed to cool. Then you decorate with chocolate. Don't do that before you put it into the oven. Right. That's the right order. Uh, nine remaining contestants. See how many got it right out of nine? Three got it right. Now, who's that? Brian Rigby in 7.36. Chocolate cake in your life, first time. Yeah, right. <laughs> Want to play for a million pounds? Yes, please. Thanks to his knowledge of how to cook a chocolate cake, this is Brian Rigby, a bank clerk from Preston in Lancashire. Up in the audience is his friend Wendy, who he first met 25 years ago when she used to sit behind him on the bus home from school and gaze at him admiringly. <laughs> See, we're doing it now. OK, here we go. 15 questions, three new lifelines, one million pounds. That's the formula. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? So, Brian, question number one for 100 pounds. Here it comes. Which of these is a quickly taken informal photograph? Snapshot. Crackle shot. Pop shot. Squeak shot. It's a snapshot. So right out, you got hundred pounds. <laughs> Question number two for two hundred pounds. Here it is. According to the saying, what is as good as a rest? Cup of tea. Change. Box of chocolates. A day shopping. Uh, a change is as good as a rest. Right out, you got two hundred pounds. <laughs> Number three, 300 pounds, here it comes. What name is given to a sandwich consisting of three or more slices of bread or toast? Bat sandwich, Q sandwich, racket sandwich, club sandwich. That's a club sandwich. That's right, Alice, you've got 300 pounds. <laughs> Number four for 500, have a look. With which type of music is the singer Chuck Berry traditionally associated? Opera. Rock and roll, barbershop quartets, choral. Um, rock and roll. Cause... Rock and roll? You've got 500 pounds. <laughs> all right, so far? So far, right. so good, yes. Brian, right. last point at which you could go home with nothing at all. It hasn't happened for a very long time on this show. You've got all three lifelines. This would guarantee you 1,000 pounds. Here it comes. Who won the Wimbledon Ladies Singles title in 1977? Ann Jones, Virginia Wade, Christine James, Angela Mortimer. It's Virginia Wade, Chris. Sure? Yes. It's the right answer. You've got £1,000. <laughs> Have a look at question number six. Bring you £2,000. The world-famous department store Harrods is located in which area of London? Richmond. Knightsbridge. Hampstead. Greenwich. Ah, uh, it's in Knightsbridge, Chris. Final answer? Final answer. You got £2,000. <laughs> you can't see this, but at this moment, Wendy has given you the same adoring look from behind she used to give you on the bus 25 years ago. <laughs> well, 25 years ago, she couldn't see the reflection. In well, that's true. <laughs> Looking through your golden <laughs> ringlets in those days. <laughs> <laughs> right. Brian, you're going well. You haven't touched the lifeline yet. You've got £2,000. Question number seven is for £4,000. Who played the title role in the TV series Dr Quinn Medicine Woman? <laughs> Jane Seymour. Jane Asher. Jane Fonda. Jane McDonald. 
Uh, Jane Seymour, Chris. Final answer. Final answer, yes. It's the right answer. You got £4,000. <laughs> This is for the double glazing, Brian. <laughs> Question number eight yes, is for £8,000. You have all three lifelines. Here it comes. Baroness Marie Christine von Reibnitz became better known under what name? Marie Curie, Marta Hari, Madame de Pompadour, Princess Michael. Can I try 50-50 first, please? You can. Uh, computer, take away two wrong answers. Leave Brian the right answer and one remaining wrong answer. The one I thought is still there. <laughs> it's good, isn't it? It's good. It's always a good sign, the one you think is still there. I'll play Chris. Uh, Princess Michael. Not Marie Curie. Why Princess Michael? Because I don't think it's Marie Curie. <laughs> and Princess Michael was of, uh, she was a European royal of some sort, from what I can remember. Final answer? Final answer, Chris. You just got £8,000. Well played. Well played. Question number nine is for £16,000. You've still got phone a friend and you can still ask this audience. Have a look at number nine. You're seven away from one million. You're two away from 32000 In chemistry, which of these is a non-metallic element? Manganese, chromium, phosphorus, nickel. I think I'll phone a friend, please, Chris. OK, now who are you going to phone? Uh, I'll phone Rob. Sorry? Rob. Rob, OK. Yes. Is he a scientist? He is, yes. He's a botanist, actually, but he's, uh, he's in the science field, so... OK. Hello? Rob? Yes. Hello, it's Chris Tarrant here. Good evening. Hello, Chris. How are you? Hello, Rob. Um, we're on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, as you probably guessed. I did guess that, uh, yeah. You probably also guessed that Brian's here, and it's, the good news is the fact that I'm phoning you means that he's in the chair. Oh, excellent. Now, uh, Rob, he's stuck on £8,000 with one particular question. Right. There's still four possible answers. OK. Uh, he's hoping that you can give him the right answer. It'll be worth £16,000. I'll do my best. All right, mate. OK. Lots of luck. Brian, 30 seconds. Your time starts now. Rob, in yep. chemistry... Which of these is a non-metallic element? Manganese, chromium, phosphorus, nickel. Pretty sure it's phosphorus. Not manganese. Ring, ring, go for them again, one more time. Manganese, chromium, phosphorus, nickel. Non-metallic. Phosphorus. 95%. Oh, that'll do. <laughs> OK. OK, thanks very much. Have a right. pint. Bye. A pint? A pint, yes. 16 grand, a pint? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a banker. You know, <laughs> careful Clearly. with the money. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go with phosphorus then, Chris, please. Final answer. Final answer. Well, you're going to have to dig deep, you're going to have to buy Rob a pint. It's the right answer, you've got £16,000. <laughs> ah. Thank you. Question number 10 is for £32,000. You're guaranteed a 1000 If you go for it and give me a wrong answer, you drop £15,000. What is the job of Alfred Doolittle, Eliza's father in the musical My Fair Lady? Dustman, Milkman, Knife Grinder, Coleman. Can I ask the audience, please? You can. What happens? Sorry, audience. Now, audience on your keypads, please. Uh, let's try and get Brian up to £32,000. This is the question. What is the job of Alfred Doolittle, Eliza's father, in the musical My Fair Lady? A, B, C or D? All vote now. Oh, 52%. That's quite high. Uh, more than half are saying he's a dustman. 31% say Coleman. 
9% Milton and 8% knife grinder. I think I better take the money. 52%. As long as you need. Mm, I don't want to lose sixteen thousand pounds, Chris. Right. It's your call. You're this close to thirty-two thousand, but if yes, you're wrong, you drop fifteen. I said I wouldn't gamble when I came tonight, but this is so tempting. It really is. Fifty-two percent. It is tempting, it but fifty-two. If you're wrong, you lose fifteen grand. It's worth thirty-two. I'll play, Chris. I'll trust the audience. Final odds? No. Fifty-two <laughs> percent <laughs> say Dustman. Nine say Milton. Eight say Milton. Thirty-one say Milton. It's a big majority. It is, isn't it? But it's yes, I'll play. Oh. I'll play. Just <laughs> play. Final odds. Dustman. Final odds. Final answer. It was the right answer you got. Thirty-two. Thank you.